Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? Pathetic. He can barely hold the thing. I ain't a musician, but even I can tell that sloppy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, a critic. Chill, Chumba. Ain't half bad. Mind if I just peruse? Guys hurt. Got I'll give you a minute. June? Watch your tongue. You will not give you nothing. Okay, Hey there.
What are we talking about? Guy's hurt. Got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong. Loses the tempo more than he keeps it. But not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town? Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. But jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? after all these years. Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot, place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again point for the other team huh huh this is why you don't bring back fallen warriors sooner or later they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit know anything about any bootlegs from the rainbow cadenza days like Say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> But besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. Hey. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? 
<laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny. Get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist jib. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on, hang on. Now I remember. There was a fire. Ah, poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to Corpos. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Lusaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. You want to force them to change. Well, you can't just blow them up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word doesn't understand a single one. We'd rather massacre a bunch of people then. And the average Janes and Joes. Maybe they don't want to change. It's their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil. Might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on how.
received word on a breaking story. A Ken Tao AV has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crash landing were met by a band of no Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here.
lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Zerk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh... Hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey. What's got into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give him any numbers. Uh, 77 -11 Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. He's a public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 7711110? Yeah, Supreme accident. I shit green apples. Now get me the real Delamain. V. My apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah, special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? No. Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
one of my missing vehicles might very well be near where you are now. Thanks. Try to find it. What is? All of it. The city, the bustle, the crowds. It's overwhelming. Oh, so let's get you back to safety. The garage. By driving. Come on, don't run. So. Fine. Take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. Yes, You're yes, welcome you. in, but do take it slow. And try not to hit anything. We're going to dodge. Not hurt. sake. Now, we certainly can't stay here. Keep driving. Too fast.
We certainly can't stay here. Keep driving. Slow down! Can't be alone here. See, it wasn't so bad. It was horrifying, but still, I thank you. <laughs> Sincerest thanks for your assistance, V. I've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grodd. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am, seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. See? Want to see what you got in stock? Browse to your heart's content.
Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two. What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a path. Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time, do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. They haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts. You could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. The 
The skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Also subscribe the channel for more such content and see you in the next one.